Hi, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? It's Dee about to react to this choice vid. It's titled TikTok Influencers New Scam to Make Fast Money. So I just reacted to the whole Chase Bank glitch and I was confused about it. Like, oh, why was there a glitch? What was going on? And someone was like, uh, it wasn't no glitch. They was scamming. You need to react to Choice New Video. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I, I didn't know it was a scam. I thought it was an actual like glitch in, in Chase's system. I didn't know that people were scamming. Why were they calling it a glitch then? I don't get that, but sure, let's see what's happening, let's watch. Viewers might find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi my loves, it's Destin Choice and you're watching Choice TV. For today's video, I want to talk about how slow this generation is, because if y'all didn't know, there's been this new scam going on involving Very Chase Bank. Now on the social media app TikTok, videos show people lined up at Chase ATMs to take advantage of the so-called money glitch. People would deposit checks with large sums, then quickly remove a smaller amount before the check bounced back. And what these people were actually oh, doing was committing good. check fraud. Yeah, now, I reached out to Chase Bank for a comment, and they said in part, quote, we are aware of this incident. Yeah, why were y'all calling this a glitch? This is just check fraud that you will indeed go to jail for. People in my family have gone to jail for this. And it has been addressed. Regardless of what you see online, depositing fraudulent checks and withdrawing the funds from your account is fraud. Yeah, are y'all done? No, Tim Douthat with the DA's office says everyone at home should no, know are it is slow. a crime to commit check fraud. It's not a glitch or a hack for free money. It is free money in the same way that going to Walmart and waiting until the teller is not looking and pulling 100 bucks out of the cash register is free money. You can walk out with it, but you're just stealing and you're going to get caught and you're going to go to jail. Oh my goodness. Doubt that says these people can face a variety of charges. Now those charges can range from simple theft all the way to felony theft from a financial institution no and worries. even federal level crimes. Now according to the FBI's latest internet crime complaint center data, they have already seen a $1.6 billion in loss <gasps> from January to May of 2024. Now, as we all know, Billy? there's been a lot of scams lately with a lot of banks, a lot of banks finding out that there's been a lot of cybersecurity attacks and so much more. And the reason why there's been so many fraud and so many people trying to scam with banks is because a lot of people are struggling. For example, I recently got a call from an Atlanta, Georgia area code, sure. and this random man randomly called me one day saying, hey, did you make a $300 charge for this? Oh, okay, well, my name is so-and-so, and I work for Chase Bank, and my extension number is 3320001 or whatever. Click. And I want to know, did you verify this? Can you verify this? Did you order this rental car? Okay, well, did you spend um, $65 at Chevron gas station? And I'm like, no, no, and no, as he's reading down the list. Just for him to literally say, okay, well, I'm going to send you a link to this number. Is that okay? I said, yeah, sure. He sent me a link just for him to say, okay. Now, click on the link. I click on the link. And he said, okay, now do me a favor and what do you see? I say, okay, well, it says for me to log into my chase. He said, okay, now do me a favor and log into your chase with that link that I literally just sent. I freeze up and I say, why would I do that? Um, what is your name one more time? He says, my name is Gregory and my extension number is 2230001. I'm like, okay. And he said, yeah. And how are you doing on this fine evening? hung up on his ass and automatically knew it was a scam so y'all gotta be very careful for a lot of these bank scams just to sum it up chase basically became a victim of cybersecurity scams and all types of crazy stuff chase is one of the biggest banks in america and they unfortunately went through a crazy ass glitch now instead of most of us ignoring the glitch because banks go through this all the time a lot of tiktok influencers thought to warn a lot of their followers and people went into instagram to tell their followers and acquaintances to quickly take advantage because chase is basically giving out free money in these hard times people saw this as an opportunity to eat the rich and to say f the rich but of course it backfired Look to this shit, man. What the f bro bro told me tap in bro bro said he got the drop a day before this shit happened bro with like your old 50 tap in no, so queue up uh, uh, uh. I'm like, I bet this is my only shit, bro. My only motherfucking account, bro. And they going to whack this shit. Bro. Give them the money back. Now, I don't know if that video is real, but what I will say is a lot of people on Twitter were posting their bank statements and showing that check gave, that Chase gave everybody a negative balance if you tried uh, to participate in this ch in this uh, Chase fraud. So if you thought that she was really going to deposit a sense? big I'm check so worth $700,000 and then withdraw twenty k really, really quickly, 
You probably got away, but best believe I don't that know these banks are that coming for their fucking the money. ATM. Considering Chase fixed this issue, Chase wasn't giving up without a fight. So according to payments.com, it was reported by Chase that this is basically the gist of everything. The glitch became a TikTok. See, Bank of America don't play that. <laughs> there have been many times I've deposited big checks, big, big checks, okay? And they like, uh, you got access to $100 right now. <laughs> And tell the check clear. Like they don't, they don't just give you access to hella money until the the check actually clears. And that usually takes like at least a couple days. So yeah, Chase, what the fuck is y'all doing? Bank of America has never just trusted me, I and mean, I've been a, a member since I've been in college. So yeah, they don't, they don't care. They just like girl. Anyway, we don't care you. The platinum honor member. They don't. You got. I got hella credit cards with them. They don't care. They don't give me no special privilege. So I'm very, very confused why Chase does that. They just let you just take hella money out. Crazy. Before the check clears. Days during which time thousands of people exploited the era by depositing bad checks and withdrawing money from ATMs, according to the report, citing an estimate by the bank. As with any fraud-related issue, according to Chase, we <laughs> review attorney and refer to law enforcement as appropriate. The Chase spokesperson nah. also said, regardless of what you see online, depositing a fraudulent check you know and drawing the funds from your account is fraud. Plain and simple. Yeah, you call. Now, according to Payments.com, Chase plans to freeze accounts in which it ins in which it thinks people have committed fraud, this nigga and they so also will be sharing surveillance <laughs> footage and other information about those who allegedly nah. committed fraud with authorities. When the glitch did happen, happen, however, TikTok did add a little disclaimer, making it very clear, and I quote: "Participating in this activity could mm -hmm. result you or others getting hurt." So TikTok did have to step in. You're one of the people that tried the Chase Bank glitch. Leave the country now. You're yeah, in really? so much trouble. People all around the world are lined up around Chase Banks to try and do this quote-unquote glitch. But it's not a glitch. I'll tell you what it is. What people are actually doing is depositing fake checks and cashing out on the ATM before Chase realizes it's a bad check. Former bank manager here. I have some unfortunate you news. You don't even have to be a bank manager to know this. This is so basic. Thought this is that a company like Chase Bank would not come after you for even two hundred dollars. Right. You can't $20. even fathom how Hello. much they're going to rain on you for anything, especially, especially when, when you wrong. understand who is actually the people behind the balances that Chase Bank has. To, to put it into perspective, Chase Bank have, holds more balances than some small countries. I'm not surprised. Trillion dollars. That this is a company, remember, this is FDIC insured. So basically, you know, up to a certain point, you're stealing from the US of A. Mm. If you think that they're not going to use that power and the technology that comes with it to come after you and everything is people that may be even close to you are going to feel the slap that's going to come your way and i'm so sorry that you made these poor choices whoever told you this was a good idea go to their house and the fuck out of them because you done fucked up your life go take that money back tell them you don't know how this happened that somebody told you that to go do this that it wasn't your idea Give them their fucking money and maybe they'll leave you alone. Maybe. No guarantees. People don't realize that a lot of these banks, they're not like grocery stores. They're not like these small little chain restaurants that you, that you can just scam or play or screw over and then get yeah, away with it. Sure. A lot of these banks are federally protected. So when you come for a federal, federally protected company, they are going, they're going to throw the book at you. A lot of these people are now going to, one, get their bank accounts closed get their bank accounts frozen, and then a lot of this shit is gonna be thrown into collections after they eventually close your bank account. And guess what? When they throw the amount of money you owe in collections, they're then going to go out of their way to make sure they sue you and come for that money if you don't pay them that money accordingly. And if you decide to leave that money in collections and never pay them that money and think that you're gonna get away with it, then they're, they're, they are then going to go out of their way and probably file a crazy-ass lawsuit against you. The IRS will then be coming for you as well. You there has been a rise in scamming, shoplifting, oh, boosting, shit. and so much more ever since the pandemic. 
People are too scared to find a side hustle, start a business, get a second and third job, and people want to just get fast, instant money. slow because this has been happening for years this has been yes. a thing since the 90s people have been writing fake fraudulent checks. i told y'all people in my family have done this like the old my aunts and stuff they definitely went to jail back in the day for checks <laughs> that they hope will not bounce and then they can withdraw the money in time people keep forgetting that these banks have cameras at the atm i said they that see you i said that the money. In video. they see who's withdrawing their states who's taking this money and people don't want to put two and two together so let me just say that whoever is involved in these fraudulent scams, they're involved in these fraudulent things, I hope you know that you deserve to get your ass whooped and you're probably going to be in jail for a long time. Stuff like this isn't a joke. If you're watching this and you see anybody around you scamming, do not participate. These scams are out of control in Atlanta, New York City, and in California. This will eventually come biting you in the ass. You're always going to be looking over your shoulder paranoid and think everyone's out to get you because you're eventually going to be waiting for your karma to come and collect because you cannot do stuff like that. Four of five people accused in a check cashing scheme are now in custody. Police say that the suspects cashed almost $23,000 worth of checks from the Propel Schools Foundation. Each check had a forged signature of the Propel Schools co-founder. Cops say that they have arrested the teen who is caught on camera, they say, withdrawing money from ATMs using counterfeit debit cards. They say he's part of a skimming scam and his day job may have helped. A teenager now under arrest. Miami Beach police say 19-year-old Manuel yeah. Vargas played a major role in a criminal scheme That's using wrong. ATM candy, candy. skimmers to steal thousands of dollars from countless victims. Investigators believe Vargas is one of three crooks who was last seen in May entering his victim's pen numbers at various ATMs across Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Wow. Miami Beach detectives say the trio placed a sophisticated skimmer over a standalone ATM inside Mount Sinai Medical Center. When placed over the card reader, the electronic device looks pretty real, making it nearly impossible for customers to detect that it's there. Later, mm. these subjects will go retrieve it and then fraudulently create new debit cards to use. And that's exactly what happened to a that's Miami good. Beach man. He asked us not to identify him, but back in August, he told us about how he was taken for $800. I didn't know about it until the following morning. 400 of it was taken right from the ATM machine at um, the 7-Eleven. Tonight, Vargas is facing more than a dozen counts of fraud, while his two partners in crime remain on the run. You see these body cam videos going viral mm. on Twitter and on YouTube all the time of these people who try to write, who try to write fake and faulty checks, and they get away with it. But then eventually, what's going to happen when you get that money? You're going to blow the whole thing because you got it so fast, and you're going to be so eager to spend every single penny. And then eventually, it's going to catch up with you, and people are going to find out that you yourself are scamming. And when you scam people, people do not take shit like that lightly. So I'm really glad that Chase is knuckling down on these people and that these people have an example made out of them. Do not scam people. It will always come back because karma is so real when you try to go out of your way to fuck people over. You go around trying to fuck people over, somebody might kill you or somebody might press charges against you and have you reprehended and put in jail. Scams have been on the rise and there's even videos on YouTube of people teaching you oh how to God, scam, so teaching so you how to finesse, and teaching you how to get your way because we live in a microwave society how where people scams. want to get things instantly, <laughs> quick and fast. You everybody out here gotta get that cheese, boys. You feel me? It's swimming to the floor. You gotta learn how to scam and make you some money, nigga. What? You know, you're not working, make you some money, nigga. Do something at the crib that's providing for you, not laying down, eating, wing stop all day, watching the show. Make you some money, nigga. Do something, nigga. Get you some money. Help your girlfriend, help your baby moms, help your mother. Do something for yourself, my nigga. You feel me? Do that. Nobody wants to go to college, that a lot of people so want to work a 9 to 5, nobody wants to start at the bottom, and that's the problem. I always have respect for people who work low-end jobs and minimum wage jobs because someone has to do it. And when I see people working these low minimum mm -hmm. wage jobs, even if they're at an age where they should probably be doing something else, I always have respect for them because they could be doing so many other things. They could be selling that poom poom on the streets. They could be doing drugs Sunder. and selling drugs. Yeah. They could be scamming people, robbing people, and mm -hmm. so much more.
And I always respect people who work these low-end jobs because I've worked these low-end jobs. When I was young, short on cash, lean paycheck mm-hmm. to paycheck, didn't know what I was going to do, I still knew that I'd rather work an honest living rather than trying to finesse and play people. Apply at Payless. Go apply at Papa John's. Go apply at Walmart. Go apply at so many other places that are hiring. McDonald's will hire anybody that's willing to work if you're struggling and you're low on cash. Get a second job. Utilize your skills. Learn a trade skill. Get into construction. There's so many ways to get paid that so many people are so impatient. If you feel like you can't live on your own, get a roommate. Get a second, get a third, get a fourth roommate, or go back home living with your parents temporarily until you get back on your feet. This notion of trying to live the fast life and trying to keep up with all these influencers, a lot of y'all don't realize a lot of these influencers and these big name entertainers, a lot of them are in excruciating credit card debt. Klarma, Afterpay, a lot of people are in excruciating $50,000, $80,000, $20,000 credit card debt to try to fund their lifestyle to look good on Instagram, to try to fund their traveling. A lot of these people aren't saving their coins. A lot of these people are running through their money, running through their tax dollars, and then they wonder why, then you wonder why they're struggling and why they're down bad. Hello, a lot of these people spend so much time scamming, hustling people, making all this fast money to make themselves look good on social media to attract their ideal partner or to to attract women and attract hoes, and then it caught up with them. That's a good example. You know, these bank scams have been around forever, and it's a shame that these people keep falling for it and keep trying to go on that path. Yeah. You remember that scam from back in 2013, 2014, when people were waving cash, saying, hey, y'all, if you want to turn 15 cents into $1,500, make sure y'all hit my cash app and text this number oh, right now God. and text this phone number and text this person. Let them know what you think. I also want to tell y'all real quick that if you ever see anybody on social media posting money to their ear or waving cash or being like, look at all this money, fast life, fast this, do not give into it because more than likely they're just doing that to attract clients. So people could be like, oh, how'd you make all that money? And then they can attract you and they can get you onto their business venture or they're trying to flex for the women that they're trying to attract or impress the men that they want the validation from. Understand that Jay-Z once said, you're on the gram holding money to your ear there's a disconnect. We don't call that money over here. Why do you have that wad of cash Bars. that you're flexing on the gram and not putting it in a bank account, a savings account, a high yield savings account, or putting it in a stock or a cryptocurrency? Why is that money just sitting there? That's irresponsible and that's childish. I'm telling y'all, these only people that do that shit is rappers and scammers. I'm telling y'all, anyone who shows you a whole bunch of money or they're not using it for anything art related or entertainment related or they're not a rapper, do not believe these people who are showing you money on their social media because, again, that's not what money looks like. That's not what real money looks like, to mm-hmm. say the least. Those are all scams. If it sounds too good to be true, it, it probably is. is true because the universe will reward you. God will reward you if you literally put forth effort to live a good life and make good choices. If you're going out of your way to literally try to hustle and finesse people, you need to remember everything comes with a price. Yeah, you got those nice clothes and those nice shoes, but does that really make you happy? The fact that you got to hide, hide how you got that money, the fact that you got to pretend that you don't know how you accumulated this income, does that really make you happy? Karma is real. You never shit on people because you will get your day. But after that for this video, people should like, come. Preach. Listen, and credit card debt is the worst debt to have, in my opinion, because that has a way of snowballing. With all those interest fees and the APR percentage, all that shit, it, it skyrockets, okay? You owe $500, that turns into $1,600 real quick. <laughs> so, I don't think you should ever play with that. I don't ever use credit to pay for designer shit or trips or none of that. I mean, they do have, like, Afterpay and Klarna, Karma, one of those. Uh, so, I don't, I don't think that's a bad idea if you want to, like, have a payment plan if you want to travel. Uh, but just using a card and trying to swipe it to do shit. Horrible, horrible idea. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this vid. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!